still need to marry him off. Like I said, we could marry him to her, but she won't fucking accept. Uh, and we could offer to join her war. Can we use long hair? So, who is she fighting for? Against? I mean, she is defending Lord Thingy. Heard of crap. Hmm. Okay, he's got a really shit claim to the wet, to the. If it did marry her, she wouldn't have it for very long, apparently. Well, Damien of Sunspear. Okay, I don't know. I think we'll deal with the little rebellion that we have in Old Town right now. Claim Old Town. We have a disadvantage due to the river, but we vastly outnumber them, so I'm pretty sure we've got this in the bag. Uh, you report some cash to me to try and work. Yeah, okay, that's nice. Fighting across the field, you cut off an enemy soldier while you can't tell it is. It's clearly must be a highborn noble. Charge! As you charge closer, you realize the enemy soldier is commander. That's rather silent. I've seen you charge across the field towards him. He turns up. You pursue, but lose track of the chaos. That's right, coward. Run back to Old Town. I think I'll just stay here and burn Old Town to the ground. <laughs> Rather than chasing his little forces around the place. <sighs> ah, he ends the train slothful. Son of a bitch. Laying siege to Old Town itself. Once we take it, that should pretty much be an automatic victory. Those are a lot of ironborn ships. Did you just have to see those ironborn ships? <laughs> we have actually captured him. Release anybody with whom we have common cause. My lord, we've rounded up everyone we could find. What should we do with them? Clap their leader and irons and leave the rest here. Eh? Imprison the entire family. Alright, my, my son, my grandson isn't there. Okay, clap their uh, leader in prison. Now, we'll imprison the entire family, then release them. The ones that we don't need. Gain five prestige. Okay, if we go to our prisoners now. If we go to him, who's his heir exactly? And who is. I'm just going to make sure before we do anything. Exactly who's like on our side in this war and who's against us. Well, there's Rennie of Sunhouse, still burning that thingy. And me. Okay, so who exactly are these guys that we have in our... He is a high tower. He's just got a Dornish mother, is all. 
I'm not quite sure. I'm not even sure why the hell we have a. Can't we? Why oh, do I have to talk to his regent? No? Okay, we'll just wait for him to offer. He's inherited the Iron Isles, another thing. Alright, it was because it's not our war. And we've become the Lord of Old Town. The Sunhouse War ended. Did we just did he send the boy to the Night's Watch? Yeah, he has. He sent a five year old kid to the Night's Watch. Okay. Well we'll uh We'll release them all. They didn't imprison him, though. And he's a high tower. Died of the bloody flux. That's nasty. Um... I've really got nothing against the kid. I might regret it later. But we're releasing. I am now the Lord of Castamere and the Lord of Old Town. I've got the Tyrant, which is not nice. Who are my vassals? Exactly. Uh, yeah, direct vassals. Okay, this area is now actually part of the Westerlands. All of this area is now mine. These are all my vassals under the area of Old Town. Which is giving me a significant boost to all of my troop numbers. So yeah, I now have that entire section of uh, Old Town. Fucking awesome people. There you go. We'll release that for now. What we'll do... Get rid of that. We can train troops. Levy size was 20. Castle Rock is the best place to send them. Uh, the Pacify, Castamere thing. That's fine, but what we can do... So Overseas province, local tax modifier. Improved defenses, garrison size. We want the pacify one for Castamere because Castamere's got on a bigger amount of dudes. Uh, Overseas construction, that's fine. Uh, sabotage economy, we don't really need that. Yeah, that's fine. What we can do is actually see if we can rebuild any decent buildings in this place. Which I think we can. Basic defenses. Uh, tax income and light infantry. So we'll build. Uh, we've got a large gold mine, which is awesome. We'll build some basic defenses. See if it does any good. Uh, I don't know. I never see the point in building stuff. It doesn't really do too much. It builds up, I guess, but. We still need to find him a fucking wife. Lord Thingy of the Westerlands. She would accept. Who, who is she? I mean, they've had like a big fight over all of this, haven't they? I mean, she's still defending. 
Prince of the Iron... One of the pr dudes is the Prince of the Iron Throne, for fuck's sake. Uh, see, we could join her. Especially if we then become the... Gain the Stormlands as well as everything else. Okay, what we'll do, we'll save just before we do something that's giant and possibly deadly. And he's still yet to... Have a wife, which is really annoying. I don't have anybody to marry off to him. Yeah. Come on, love. Ah, crap. She's celibate. Bitch. No. <laughs> okay. I only have the one son. Great. So we need. Well, I have two sons. The one son that doesn't have a mother, which is probably a bastard. <laughs> not a bastard. He's not actually a bastard. The game just didn't give him a wife to start off with. Uh, but I think we may need to, like, divorce her and marry somebody else. Uh, but it may insult her relatives who are Targaryen, not anybody else. Yeah, most of her relatives are dead. Uh, she, no, she is the the sister of King Damien, half sister of King Damien. So we don't want to insult too much. Um, oof, it's a fucking toughie. It is a toughie. He could just go around screwing people. <laughs> That's one way to get heirs. I mean, we already have one son, Damien, really, and he's going to be the Lord Paramount of the Riverlands. So. Yes. Um, what we'll do, like I said, I don't know. We did save, yes, we did. Now I got distracted. <laughs> what we shall do is, as long as she agrees to marry my, who? Okay, not the trove, but marry. Apparently, as long as she agrees to marry my son, I'll march into the Stormlands and help her. That's nasty stuff right there. Uh, no, don't worry about it. Once she has an heir, then what we'll do, offer the join war, and we'll you will offer the join Lord Paramount area of the Stormlands. Yes. And hopefully we won't have to go against the Iron Throne in this, because that would be really bad. Huh? She's outnumbered. She'll owe me a big time if we do this. Forces at Old Town repaired. Now, see, the only bad thing is that I can actually claim the Iron Throne if I want to do. I claim King's Landing at least.
You, my lord, his grace King Damien has seen fit to name Valar Targaryen Lord Paramount of Dawn. He and his sons and grandsons. Yeah, Targaryens now rule Dawn. That's quite funny. You need a wife, dude. Although he won't have any sons until he's of age anyway. So it won't make too much fucking difference. Now, it won't take too long for my forces from uh, Old Town to go up into the Westerlands. Now, it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like uh, she's actually that far unnumbered, but if we, join if we offer to help her, it will go a long way in future relations. Once again, we should have 5k from the Westerlands, and we've got another 1k or so. I mean, we barely actually recruited any fucking troops. You forgot all about these dudes. I don't know where they came from. You, he died a natural death. See, she is kind of outnumbered, but seems to be putting up a fight. Cersei was murdered in the order of Lord Thingmajig of the Crag. Seriously, this Lord of the Crag is seriously starting to piss me off. Huh? He's killed a lot of my people. He's the same person that was responsible for the death of my son's wife uh, as well. Who the fuck is he? I mean, I know he's somebody. His court, Lord Thingy of the Crag. Hmm. Might be him. Don't know. We shall see. We shall see once Stoll manages to remember that uh, he's got it on pause. <laughs> I've actually, I've actually got some pretty decent fucking commanders now that I got old towns as part of my close knit little dude. He's actually a black brother. I'm not entirely sure how the fuck that works, considering he's maybe he's a deserter or something. I have no idea. Ulten has some seriously decent uh, commanders in their ranks. What's this? Ashmark War to install Lady Jonah in the Westerlands. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, we're going back home. And immediately. Offering to join the war. Ah, I'm already in the war. Yeah, we are going back home right now. I'm pretty sure that my grandson can deal with it by himself because there's only a few, there's only like a 5,000 or 6,000 actually of them. And there is a lot more of his forces than anyone else's. So I don't think we'll need my 1,000 guys to help out at all really.
but I'm definitely turning around and helping them out. <laughs> Siege lengthens, okay, yeah, whatever. I'm fine with that. What's with the lag, people? What's with the lag game? Seriously. Hmm. He's actually got 10k guys about to go fuck him up. So I don't think my help is really needed. I don't know why the fuck the game is lagging all of a sudden. It really does love like r to randomly crash. Okay, it lagged and now that army is going to get killed. Excellent. I don't know why it's doing this. Okay, he does not need my help. The Stormlands on the other hand do need my help. Ah, for fuck's sake, why is it doing this? It's been... I don't know why, my fraps... It actually might be running out of memory, that might be why. <laughs> it would explain it, because I've been recording for about an hour and I only have about 100 or so gigabytes of memory left. Well, those guys fought well, and I probably could have... I didn't want to risk losing that battle, so we took a, we took a gamble. Yeah, he accepted this piece off, though. And Lord Lady Jonah of Ashmark is imprisoned. So is her husband. <laughs> you, you release the husband. I won't release the chick, though. Once again, seriously, the lag, it's just ridiculous at this point. We may just have to end the recording in a minute to fix this alone. If he wasn't recording, it is Fraps. It's Fraps, what does it? I could like end it and then start it up right, right back up again. But as it stands, that's just a pain in the ass. <laughs> Not quite as much as a pain in the ass as what's already going on, but you know. It is probably the fact that I'm running out of memory and it's like fucking grinding itself, trying to fit all the memory in, as it were. So I'm wondering, it might be a little easier on this system if I just scrolled out. Or it might be worse on the system if I scrolled out. But it's really bad. It's like at the point where it's going to be out of sync because it's so fucking bad. I have no fucking idea what the hell it's doing. <laughs> I name you Pretender of the love of God. Really? 20%. They will not be blackmailed. Here's a true ruler of Castamere. What the hell do you have any idea what the fuck you're on about, dude? I will not be blackmailed. I mean, seriously, he's in Old Town. What the fuck does he know of anything about any of my claims in anywhere? So it looks like we're going to be pulled away from those Stormlands again for an entirely different fucking conflict in my own lands. Has declared Sunhouse Ward for Lord Fingerjigs. Yeah. Typical. And he is all the way down there, which means... Okay, he's got no allies up here, just the ones down here. So we have to go all the way back down to Old Town to deal with this. 
which is just fucking excellent. What time is it? Uh, we've been recording for about an hour and so many minutes, but I'm not entirely sure if that's going to be enough. It, Fraps is still lagging like a bitch. So, guys, what we'll do... Although, as soon as I say, so guys, what we'll do, Fraps seems to fix itself. So, never mind. <laughs> Fraps has just suddenly jumped back up to 60 FPS. It was on like 4 a minute ago. And now it's just suddenly fixed itself. And now that I've mentioned that it's fixed itself, it's probably going to... Yeah, peasant revolt in Old Town because it's surrounded by enemies. Pretty much. Important decisions are available. What's that? Request League Intervention. Uh, I don't need his help. Uh, Lady Fingerjig. Kill. Yeah, investigate Lord Reynolds. We just need to go south and kill those guys. Which shouldn't take too long. I'm just thinking. See, we can't call on the pawn allies. Hmm. See, we could call upon the Tollbox to help out, which I might do just for a bit of cam fodder. Screw it. We'll ask them to help out. Probably won't need their assistance, but. It can't hurt to ask for it. And they should raise their banners and uh, come to help out. Or is it just is it just me or Yeah, the Sunhouse is war for Lord Reynard's claim to Castamir. Yeah. The guy they're fighting for for his claim on Castamir has just joined me against the people that are trying to make him Lord of Castamir. The fuck? <laughs> uh, guys, I'm pretty sure your rebellion is fucked when the guy you're rebelling in the name of has decided to turn against you. I mean, seriously. Are these people fucking stupid? <laughs> How about call is turned against me? What? I just asked him to come to war with me. Did he not accept? Did he accept or did he not accept? Or did uh, did I just like tell him about it and then he decided to attack me? Really? Okay then. <laughs> well, worst case scenario, we call in my liege and we kill him, but... Because my grandson's the Lord Paramount of the Westerlands, so I can always just call him in and he can kick anyone's ass that I tell him to kick. <laughs> but hopefully we'll end Old Town, kill these guys, by the time... Yeah, preferably before they can, like, show up. We'll go over here, kill these guys. Mm -hmm.